Catch up on the AR, how you did that? Check out lift up when you take off, how you did that? You put switches up on your blinkers, how you did that? Your LV bed turned to a legit, how you did that? I seen that back turn to a Louis, how you did that? That look like a brand new booty, how you did that? You got face stones and love with white shoes, how you did that? You hear some stunts in your closet, why you did that? How you get like slash, slash? Tea down and um, we just we woke up for school and been like in sports gear because it's like a fundraiser thing like for sports and stuff like that so i find that if we can vlog in the in the school if i can video the school stuff like that so that i can give you guys content we will see if i can give you guys content and stuff like that you know in school like make new friends meet new people and stuff like that oh this lighting's nice oh, this lighting's nice Oh, my skin looks really good. Guys, this is what I mean. Cocoa butter. Victoria cocoa butter. Amazing. We're about to go now, so I'll take it. I just came back from school. Yeah, okay. I'm going back from school and I need to pick because I don't want to get a detention or whatnot, whatnot, or a fine for using my phone. Hey, Shani. We just came back from a. We came back from a volleyball match, guys, and I'm so sorry I couldn't put any, like, my videos. I'll try to find something. I'm outside in a AMG, right outside, TT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside. All the niggas proud me. Guys, so this is not a pee uniform, it's a school box. She filmed the door, she said. This is my house for business. Oh my days. 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 Oh my Gonna go. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna be on your channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was like, these guys. <laughs> so, guys, this is a takeaway. I'm gonna be on YouTube. What is <laughs> So, I will show you the pictures of the food after. Wait. It will show on the screen. Mm. Yeah. Is that but, anyways, I'm about to go. That's an Asian drink. Here's our takeaway cup. It was very small, but you drank most of them. Yeah, it was up to that, guys. It was a lot. Thank you. Thank you. So guys, I'm in, no, it's usually a free lesson, I've got a whole hour to do a free lesson. We're doing my maths work currently, doing the maths work. And yeah, here she is. She's doing her maths homework. Hi, here's Michaela. She finished doing her homework ages ago. Here's, she's guys, she's looking at me as well. Um, Kayla, where's Kayla? Can I be here? Hang on, what are you doing? Anyways, 
Mama has found it right now. Mama has found it right now. She just wants to get fed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah guys I'm gonna keep the I wanna I want a long video for just to have a long video because all my videos are short. Pardon? She needs it now. My better? No she's not. Now. But yeah. Mm. It's short period. Uh, oh do we will still have lessons till now? No, no. Okay, so as you can see, I'm in my uni my sports unit, not mine, but in sports uniform because we're gonna go to do some play volleyball and hopefully I can get a little clip in there one or two but yeah it's a volleyball practice and, yeah. my homework no I finished no no yeah I'm, I'm, still, I'm still talking to the people The rugby festival is at St. George's. We're St. George's and St. John's, and we are here right now. We will show, oh, I will show you some clips of the match. We want St. John's to win. St. John's, because somehow we're supporting them. We don't know the other team like that, but. I can't lie, I just picked one team and I just yeah. went with it. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So guys, so we're kind of like don't know what to do right now. Watching the watching the game. Let's go, Red! Let's go, Red! Rams, Oh, Rams! This is Grace, guys. And yeah, so we're about to we're about to go see Shani's friend. Yeah, her, her friend. It's not going anywhere. Content. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi guys. Hi. Um, so guys, we're literally in Wonder Nowhere and we're just walking around. And yes. Yeah. It's very warm. It's we're walking really fast. Guys, we don't even know what we're doing. We're just walking. Mm -hmm. walking. Yeah. Literally, this is this is the setting right now. I'm in my braids though. Yeah, because everyone has a nice braids, guys. 
this is this is zoom settings guys we're not used to this so there's so many girls girls friendship groups there's so many pretty girls out there just i just like to see girls are beautiful guys yes remember girls yeah just new setting new you know everything you know it's nice it's nice to know that that's not how much content i have for you oh thank you I'm just videoing as much as perfect as possible. St. John's in the draw. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going home now. The match finished for draw. You already know this. But yeah, I'm about to go home now. Guys, yeah. I'm in class right now. I'm just sat here for free period. And I'm waiting. Oh, it's not her period. Oh, I thought a prefect came in the room. But basically. <laughs> hey! Okay, this is Anessi, guys. Just Hi, we're from Zimbabwe. Africa is not a country. I'm the nicest person, yeah. I'm the nicest person. Um, my name is Brenda, and I'm the nicest person, yeah. I'm the best person as well. I'm funny. And it's your I'm birthday. Cool. Exactly. It's your birthday, guys. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Guys. Hey, what's your name? My name is Yadi. I play the guitar, the mirror, okay. and the instruments. Okay, it's giving. How can I come and fix yourself? Pardon? Introduce yourself. Um, hi, I'm Makanaka. I used to do 11 subjects. 11? Yes. Subjects? Wow, you're surviving. Shona was also a subject, guys. This is my classroom, guys. I'm trying to... This is my classroom, guys. I'm on... My heart is doing pretty right. pass up. We're just here vibing, chilling. There's a speaker there. Um, I need to be quick, just in case the uh, prefect walks in here and I like, get my phone taken away. But yeah. And there's people dancing. Yeah. It's too bad. I won't send this one. Jordan. Oh, Jordan. So, guys. Jordan. 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 Okay. Anyway guys, so we're just about to leave because it's 4 o'clock now and these um, classrooms lock up at 4 o'clock so we're just about to leave, everyone's getting ready but yeah So I'm going to see you guys later, I already introduced you guys to the people around me But yeah, about to go, I need to be quick before I prefect comes Yeah, bye bye Going to school, Six. Chloe. Wow. Yeah. We're going to school, guys. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
we're going with the family and yeah this is the sheet of every single day yes. so yes everyone making breakfast so this is the food making say hi to vlog this is my packed lunch hot with crisps both of them Guys, it is now Tuesday, my last Tuesday in Dominican Congo as came on. We're literally just about to leave now. Like it's nearly seven o'clock and that's when we leave. So um, we're about to leave. Today it's um something culture day something like that and you can bring guests and you can bring people that you want to bring other schools are coming so it's going to be like a big event where like competitions and stuff like that so hopefully convent girls we win but anyways um yeah just about to leave i'm gonna turn the camera around to make a show hi shana <laughs> so guys <laughs> hi ayana you guys are so extra okay so I'm back. So yeah, we're about to leave. Wait, what's the thing called today? The culture what? Derby. No, no, not derby. The culture yeah, night. Culture. What's the what's going on today? What's it called? The night of culture? Something? Something? I don't know. I'll find out for you guys. I'll probably put it on the screen when I find out. Hopefully I might get some footage. Keisha's coming. Keisha and Kaylee are coming today, so yeah. This she loves taking pictures of me. My goodness. I can't. Of yourself. Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, enjoy. Yeah, hopefully I can get some footage yeah. for today. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, okay. Yeah, here's Ayana. Hi. How were you feeling this morning? I'm fine. Did you sleep well? Yeah. That's good to hear. Very good to hear. So we're about to leave. I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm. This way, go. So guys, we're in the, um, it is now the night of culture. It is one huge show in Kenya. And we're just here, we're about to get her some candy floss. <laughs> so guys, how are you feeling? It's the last day of school, how are you feeling? Feeling good. You're feeling good. No. <laughs> guys, they let they teach you guys. They know about it. They know with gang signs. Is it sign language? Kayla, no. So, guys, how do you feel your last day in school? I feel great. I love in this school. <laughs> Everyone is so happy. Then, it doesn't matter because we're coming back in a month anyway. <laughs> That's true. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. Do you want to be in my vlog? Yeah. Do you want to be my vlog? Sure. So, how do you feel? Because it's the last day of school, so how are you feeling? How's your, how's your school experience been so far? I'm seeing my exam results. <laughs> the exam results. Oh, yeah, it's been ending for me because it's a Oh, yeah, over the holidays. Yeah. We've got extra lessons over the holidays, guys. Bad. It's bad. Anyways, have a good holidays. So guys, how do you feel? How are you feeling? Hi. How are you feeling? I wanna go home. You wanna go home? Yeah. yeah. Everyone's saying that I wanna go no, home. Actually, the school is just tiring. Yeah, I can't lie. Most people didn't even wanna come into school today, like but here we are, everyone's in school. <laughs> Thank you. 
Guys, home because it's seven o'clock. No, I mean, to their dad, yeah. sorry, not home. Kill your, kill your purse. Yeah, and yeah, the event finishes. It's such a nice night. The event finishes at 7 30, it's 7 o'clock right now. No, it's a nice time. Like, it was really nice. Yeah, it was pretty, yeah, it's, it's actually not cold. Is it cold? Did you enjoy the night? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, guys, yeah, yeah. race it out 10. Can you be better? A 10? Uh, what, what do you think? If there was other schools here, it could be so much better. Instead of be like, you know, oh, this night. That's cute, isn't it? What do you think about 10 need to go? Um, seven. Seven. For me, I think that's an eight. Seven. Kenna, what about you? Eight. Eight. Oh, we didn't say goodbye to Charlie. Oh, we can go ahead. No, but they, they were gone already. They, they, gone. they were gone. I'll tell them. Do you know where he is? You need to call him. You can get kidnapped. Uh, 
fox on him. We're looking for the dad, guys. I'm just trying to call the dad. He's not answering the phone. But yeah, scary. She's scared to get kidnapped, so. We were just joking about that. Don't worry, you won't get kidnapped. You're fine. Oh, but anyways, yeah. No, actually, we're waiting for them. It's also the had fun. Oh, we're missing out. We need, we need to go. We just missed like the most fun part of the thing. That's so depressing. Bye. So guys, we're just about. Oh my gosh, the lighting is so. So guys, we're about to go home now. Um, our uncle is like parking up, and we need to. We've got our bags now. Kia's in front of me. She's right there. And we're just looking for Shamit because we need to go. So we need to go. So yeah, come with me. I just want to welcome the people who've made it this far if you've made it this far to the video then well done i hope you enjoyed the vlog so far but i just wanted to basically make a little evaluation about my experience in school in zim obviously it was a while ago that i went but um i just want to make this little clarification for those who are planning to go there or for the kids who are being sent to zim for school um honestly my experience on the whole was definitely a 10 out of 10 but i don't know if i'm just saying that because we came at, a, at the right time you know because many of our classmates were saying oh you guys came at the right time we we're doing tests before we were doing we were studying all these different things but when we had came there was like lots of events and different things happening on the weekends as you saw in the video but besides that like i did have a good time we met new people we made new friends um people that i won't forget you know and I would definitely carry this experience in my heart like i would never forget it like it might seem like just a little experience but then again i've not been in zimbabwe for 10 years so like i was saying i'm gonna make this little evaluation the classes were very similar like we did the same subjects because obviously they assigned us to the same subjects that we did here in the uk to what we do there so we were doing like biology physics um basically all the sciences then we also had some like extracurricular things, so such as drama. You could choose subjects such as drama, um, food tech, I think, and then there was another one I, I completely forgot. But um, we chose to do drama, which was really fun. And the thing is, different periods are so different. Like each period lasts thirty minutes, but like in your head, you might think it's a good thing. But you could have like three periods, and that's one hour and thirty minutes. Like one time we had um, two hours, four periods of drama, so that was two hours of drama. Or like sometimes we would have 30 minutes of math, so it would like vary, you know. Very different to what I'm used to here because our lessons are at least 55 minutes to an hour. Every lesson, every period has six periods in the day and then they will last one hour each. One time we had one hour and 30 minutes of accounts. That was my first time learning accounts and I will never do it again i'm so sorry besides from that the teacher was really nice and helpful like he would get students to read what's on the board whatever texts were on the board he would get the student to read it out and one time he chose me you <laughs> have to be me so then i'm out here reading it and then people can't hear me so i have to repeat myself or they might miss you know misunderstand me because my pronunciations are different so I had to repeat myself constantly, which was quite frustrating, but also quite, you know, funny at the same time. But then also in my maths, no, not maths class, my English classes, we were reading these books. One's called The Crucible and the other one was called, I forgot. But basically it was pretty convenient that me and my sister were in the class because it was very similar to our story, basically how we come from immigrant parents who moved to the UK and then we're being raised in this in the UK and having a whole different experience to what my parents experienced in Zim growing up basically. And then this this child in this book also um came from an immigrant parent. He moved to the US, he's Indian, moved to the US and then now he's basically trying to find his identity in the usa even though he comes from india in a way we kind of related to that 
um, character in the book because you know we basically had the same story like many of us in the UK but um it was great because we could like basically share our experiences and talk about this book and basically have our own input that you know it makes sense that we're able to connect to this character so that was pretty good it was a very engaging class I think English was definitely my favorite class there second would be maths my least favorite was probably no, probably accounts <laughs> like I said what accounts accounts was just something else I think it's just because we didn't understand what they were learning because you would have to have loads of experience of learning in order to understand the topic that they were learning then we had our biology classes our physics classes sometimes we learn things that we had already learned in school here like in in physics they were learning things for the first time but then we had already learned this months ago so it was like it was nice like because we already we already knew what was being taught and it was quite easy and then again some classes were quite hard we were in the year above so we weren't really meant to be in that class but somehow they let us stay in that class because my cousin was in that class because she was in that class it just made sense for us to be there there were times where the teachers would say okay let's move them to form three because we were in form four class you know what i'm actually grateful that we didn't move classes i'm really grateful for my classmates because they were so welcoming so nice so loving i I won't forget those people. I won't. I just can't. You just can't forget that. We stayed there for only two weeks. Like, two weeks? No. One week and a bit. Like, as the days went by, the more people knew that we were, you know, new students from a different country. So, obviously, like, we did gather quite a lot of attention from younger years and stuff like that. But apart from that, like, it, that, it didn't change anything about my experience. At the end of the day, I did have a 10 out of 10 experience. Even after school, we would play volleyball. Because Shanique, my cousin, she was part of the volleyball team. We would play volleyball with her and the rest of the team after school. That was fun, you know. We even got to go to different competitions um, at different schools. I'm really grateful for my experience there. Because if it wasn't for DC accepting us, we wouldn't have had this experience. Because my mom and my grandma had a lot of trouble trying to get us accepted to different schools if i'm being honest i really wish that schools from zim or even schools around the world would like accept more diaspora children into their into their schools because i just think it's worth the experience especially if that child hasn't grown up in their country that they're from like for example me and my sister we didn't grow up in zimbabwe but we grew up in the uk and i feel like if it wasn't for the experience that i had in school in zim I feel like I wouldn't be the person I am right now. Like there's so many things that I've grown grateful for and there's so many things that I've learned on that journey. And I would really wish that would happen for more kids, especially because in the UK and I'm sure around the world, there's a huge stigma against like kids who get, who get sent back to their original country. Like, people make jokes about it and make it seem like the worst thing in the world when really it wasn't i think that's going to conclude everything that i have to say for today um thank you so much for watching this video guys i'm so grateful i hope you enjoyed the video like comment and subscribe guys i did face a lot of complications to um posting all these episodes to be honest but now i'm just grateful that i can finally share it to you guys and just i hope you guys enjoyed it have a good day guys bye <laughs>